Hey there and welcome to this video. I want to let her a movie quote and the quote is from the second Terminator movie. It's I need a vacation and I want to use a watercolor background but I want the lettering to be white so I'm gonna create a stencil so that I can do the watercolor background over the stencil so that it you remove the stencil and it's white. You could also use masking fluid but I want to use the stencil so I'm gonna let her first with normal brush pan so I have the Tombow Fudenosuke, the small Tombow brush pan here, the big Faber Castell brush pan and fine liner and so I'm gonna letter it on normal paper first and then create a digital clip art with it which I won't show in this video. I mean the lettering I will show but not the how I create a digital clip art. If you're interested in how you can do that I have a video on that so I'm gonna link this down below or in a card up I think it's on this side. So if you're, interest, if you're interested in a video how you can create digital lettering, I'm gonna link it. And yeah, but let's go ahead and letter it. And so I'm gonna start with the Tombow brush pen. Okay, so I'm gonna letter very simple here. I... And the good thing about this is that you can letter it multiple times, it doesn't need to be perfect the first time and you can still fix it digitally if you needed to. Okay, I think I'm gonna letter it once more. I'm very shaky right now. <laughs> Okay, so as you could see, I let her at the word need multiple times because I wasn't quite happy with it. It doesn't need to be perfect since I can fix it a little bit when I turn it into a clip art. And that's the advantage of this because it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, as if I would do the, uh, the watercolor background and then would letter on top of it, it would be kind of... It wouldn't be so nice if I messed up there. So here I have multiple tries. <laughs> Okay, and so now I'm gonna move on to the word vacation. And the issue is that the Faber Castell brush pen is quite frayed, so it's kind of it's it's tricky to letter with this one. But it does give the lettering a different effect than if I would use a Sakura Koi brush pen. It does look a little bit different, and I kind of like it because the thing is that the abstracts are also quite thick, which I like about this pen. Maybe I should get a new one. Okay, I misspelled. And that's what I mean with it's nice that you have multiple tries because this would have been kind of annoying if I lettered on the watercolor background. So I'm also going to re-letter this. Okay, so now I need to turn this into a digital clip. Oh wait, I forgot something. I also want to or right where it's from. So I'm just gonna simply use my fine liner. Is that even in the frame? No, it's not. <laughs> to write that, and that doesn't really need to determine. Be perfect. Actually, I like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna add turn these into clipboards and then cut them out with a cutting machine to get a stencil and then I'm gonna come back once I did that. I'm so smart. I put the stencil on the watercolor paper already and I did use um, this masking or drawing gum pen to letter the words I need uh, and for the word vacation I used the stencil. I changed my mind because it's easier to, because the paint can get underneath the transfer foil or adhesive foil and so because this part is a little bit, the I need uh, is a little bit, the lettering is a little bit smaller and the upstrokes are way thinner, this might not work as well. I mean the vacate word vacation is quite thick so they might still get paint underneath but it wouldn't be as worse as for the smaller detail lettering part so I decided to use this drawing gum pen for the, this part and I thought I was filming this but I wasn't so I already did that and yeah the next step is to add the watercolor so I hope I don't forget to 
turn on the camera but I need to wait a little bit because it's, the drawing gum is still drying. Okay so I think the drawing gum is dry enough I hope at least I don't know if there's a sign that you can tell but I kind of want to make sure that the stencil really sticks to the watercolor paper so that hopefully no water can get underneath the stencil. Okay, I think that should be fine. And so I have here my blending palette with leftover paint and this is a great way to clean up my blending palettes. So I'm just gonna add some water on here. There's quite a mix of colors. I hope they work, uh, they work together and that this looks good and not weird, but we're gonna find out. So I wanna make sure that those are wet. Okay, this might be weird colors. Maybe it doesn't work out that well. And I'm I think I'm gonna wet this as well. Okay. Now I need to flip this. Oh, wow. I think most color. Oh, that's dirty. There was a lot of paint on there, so I'm gonna use my towel over here to dab most of it away. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit more over here since um, I don't want this to be white obviously and over here and I'm gonna try to darken this up because where the lettering is it should be darker and not too light because otherwise there's not that much contrast. I'm gonna do it like this. Oh, there's, wait, oops, there's a hair or something for my brush probably. Can I get it off? Okay now. All right, I don't think it's too bad. Oh, there's also another hair. So I'm gonna let this dry as well and then remove, remove the stencil, but it looks fine so far. I don't think it did get, oh, maybe it did get underneath over here. Yeah, dang it. There's one part where it did get underneath, but can I get it out there? No, probably not. Okay, but I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna remove the drawing gum and the transfer foil. All right, I think the paint is dry enough to remove the stencil. I'm gonna start with the stencil, not with the... Oh, that looks so good. And not with the gum. That worked quite well besides that one part over here. It didn't really get underneath it. Maybe here a little bit, but not that much. It's just that part which is kind of annoying right now because otherwise it looks good. And the paint also isn't too light and I can't get this off my fingers. <laughs> okay now. Now I hope I can also remove the gum easily. That doesn't seem to work that well or as good as the stencil can't get it off that easily if you know what i'm doing wrong if it needs to dry longer or maybe that pen is just not good i don't know please let me know in the comments because i usually don't use those pens quite often or masking fluid in general so maybe i'm just doing something wrong or maybe that's how it's supposed to be all right that might work better using the nail maybe not i don't know Oh, I think I just need to rub it a little bit more aggressively. This seems to be working a little bit better. Okay, that's as good as it gets. Um, it's not as nice as I would have hoped it could be. I don't know. I like the vacation part. That worked, turned out pretty well. But the I need a... I don't know. The paint did get underneath. And also it's... I don't know. It's just It's not as good. But I want to add some lines and so I'm gonna get my brush pens and maybe a fine liner if I knew where I put it oh it is here over here <laughs> okay so first I want to write where the quote is from so I'm gonna do this on the bottom here
Okay, and now I need to think how I want to add lines because I think I want to darken it, add some lines over here, so... <laughs> but I also don't want to mess it up too much. So I'm gonna start just by adding those with the down strokes. Well, you know what? I'm gonna outline those because I mean, it didn't work out too well with the masking anyway, so those I'm gonna outline. I think I'm gonna do this a little bit messy, since the masking is also a little bit messy. Another variation would have been to just letter on top, as the same thing on top. I also had the idea of only using the vacation as a reverse lettering, as a wet lettering, and then later the I need a part on top of it. But I thought it's not as thick that it would have looked as I imagined it, so that's why I did it separately and not on top of there. But am I gonna add? I mean, I could also let a vacation on top here, but I don't think I want to do that. But I do want to add a shadow here as well. Okay, maybe I should have let her the I need a part. So the part of the I need a with a black brush pen on top, uh, not on top of the vacation, but maybe just without the masking fluid or the drawing gum pen. Because I'm not so happy about this part, but I am. Ha I do like the vacation part. So, okay, I'm gonna remove the washi tape over here and I hope I don't rip the paper but I like how it looks it's kind of disappointing about this part about uh, on with the end here that this didn't work out too well but overall I like it I also like the colors to be honest and that's why I like using the um, the blending palettes for things like that because you don't know how the results are gonna look and usually they look up, they turn out pretty cool, even though the colors might not seem to work perfectly together. But it is pretty cool. I actually, actually was thinking about using my green palette, but this was one that I wanted to clean up a little bit. So I'm actually quite happy about how this turned out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and maybe I'll see you in my next one. Bye.